Welcome to the campus of Mid-South Central West University. That college that cares about the student as the student is the first and only thing we care about here at our school. Academia Nuts, that show where common sense is uncommon and compassion is a word for the chalkboard. This episode, adjuncting. Hey Hampstead, I'm over here. I've ordered your tall non-fat latte with hazelnut shots, caramel drizzle, vanilla, cherry, no foam, and I made sure it was sugar free. You've known me too long, shyster. You got it right on the money. Uh, why are you dressed up today? I wanted to- Is there anything that I need to be worried about? Is there something I need to know? I wanted to look decent, prim, and proper. That's all there is to it. You're freaking me out over here. Where's your partner in crime? Flywheel? I don't know. I went to the art department, but she wasn't there. What about on the roof where you do have your hidden cabana? Checked it out. She wasn't there. Maybe she's teaching class. I checked. I didn't see any students flinging paint at each other, so no to that, too. Maybe she took another trip to look at Baroque art. Her favorite. If Flywheel is anything, she is Baroque. Is that why she never buys lunch? (laughs) Hampstead, I've told you a thousand times, jokes are not your thing. Speaking of which... If it's about another mad scheme by the president, then forget it. You're like a broken record with that. I'm here to talk about the state of the university. Well, I'm here to drink coffee and drown my sorrows in a tin of chocolate chip muffins. I'm serious. I am too, sister. We have a broken school system and broken culture. Yeah, yeah, same song, Hampstead. The 14th verse. Drink your beverage that somewhat resembles coffee and hush your face. Shyster. I'm an English professor. We whine about how terrible our lives are while we sit in our backyards and read literature that no one's ever heard of. Administration is no walk in the park. <laughs> You folks in administration have no idea what's going on in the trenches out there. Please. You're removed from reality. The faculty are hip deep in reality every day. Our work is serious and difficult. Pull the other leg. The only thing more dangerous than working in higher ed administration is being in a diamond mine in South Africa. Let's not exaggerate or anything. I would never, not in a bazillion years. Sing your troubles to your buddy, the president of this university. I hate you. So much. That calls for a coffee toast. Cheers. Cheers. So, why so down in the mouth? Ugh, we're low on teachers around here. Again? Where are all the adjuncts when you need them? That's just it. We have adjuncts everywhere on campus, but we don't have enough of them. We need the full-timers around here to pick up the slack. Uh, I know you just didn't. Speaking as one of the full-timers, I have a full plate teaching three classes a semester. We have some adjuncts teaching ten classes a semester. And? What's your point? That is their function in life. They have to teach that many just to pay the bills. Why fuss? You tenured professors are such a pain. Whoa, now. Let's just calm down a minute. The tenured folks around here teaching one or two classes a semester are the bedrock of this university, I'll have you know. This is me hating you again. So, you need to hire more adjuncts. Okay, let's. I have to write up the ads first. Okay, who needs an adjunct? Haha, that's funny. Ask any department on this campus and they'll tell you they need more teachers. Who's first then? The theater department. Oh boy, okay. No sweat. Take this down. University hiring for PhD in theater unless you're a movie star, which will get you hired immediately. Got it. Sounds good. I like it. Now the philosophy department. Ooh, got it. University hiring visiting assistant adjunct, which is a... a part-time. Part-time position will teach a... Ten. Ten course semester load. PhD preferred will review if you have a pulse. I love it. We'll have applications from all over the world for that one. Well, I'm exhausted. Let's do what the banana did and split. You're not funny. You're right. I'm hysterical. (laughs) 
And right in the middle of the exam, I had a student ask if this was going to be graded. You did not. Did. And then, in the same class, mind you, I had a student ask if Australia was a continent. You are kidding me. I only wish. And what did it have to do with English? You got me. Who knows? I only teach the class. Wait a minute. Hold on just a sec. What are you looking at? Shyster? Hello? Why is her mouth hanging open like that? Um... What are you seeing? Okay, it's a class. There's a teacher teaching. What class is it? Looks like a nursing class. Big deal. Uh... The class is quiet and attentive, and they're taking notes. And Flywheel is teaching the class. No big deal. Flywheel is teaching the class! What in the name of college education is going on? I don't know, but I want to hear. And this, students, is what is called a band-aid. And unless you get the pop music reference to a group in the 80s that tried to raise money for starving kids in Africa, you know this is to be the most important nursing tool in existence. Let me demonstrate. You walk in to check on your patient who complains of hurting. Nurse! Oh, nurse, I am in so much pain. You are, sir? I sure am. I hurt all over. No problem. Let me get you a Band-Aid. And not the super group that sang the song about raising money for starving kids in Africa. See how easy that is. She has lost her mind. Why is she teaching a nursing class? Maybe she traded off with a nursing professor. Remember, she and I did that one time. Yes, and I nearly ended both of your lives for it, too. Oh, yeah. The Band-Aid students. There isn't any way of telling how many lives the Band-Aid has saved over the years. Thousands, you say? Possibly. Hundreds of thousands? More likely. Millions? Now you're getting closer. I am going to end her life on this earth. Watch and see if I don't. Let's not be hasty, Hampstead. Shut up, shyster, or you're next. Shutting up. Think about it, students. A strip of stretchy fabric or rubber, sticky stuff, and a little piece of gauze. Genius, isn't it? I cannot believe this. Shh, I'm getting into this lecture. You better not. So, our next assignment class, write a four-page essay providing pictures, of course, of all the many uses of a Band-Aid besides covering up a pesky wound. Be creative, be spontaneous. Remember, you are the future nurses of the world, and I thank you. They're applauding? Hooray! Bravo! You better stop clapping or folks are going to call you Stumpy. Let's go and find out what madness is going on around here. Sorry, no office hours today. I have to go across campus to teach another- Art class? Hampstead! The bearer of all bad news in the universe. Hello. Do not. Hey, shyster. Before she kills you, I just want you to know that I heard the last part of your lecture, and it was totally brill. Really? You think so? I do. I sure do. Thank you. No, thank you. You're too kind. No, I'm not. I'm just being honest. Flywheel! Shyster! Zip it or lose it! Now, Flywheel, you better have a good reason for standing up in front of a bunch of nursing students teaching a nursing class when you are only an art professor. Only? Only? You stabbed me to the heart. Flywheel, explain. You better. The veins on the side of her temple are throbbing. They always do that. And have you noticed the little hiccup when she laughs? Or when she whips her hair around right before she <coughs> oh, punches you? What is going on? I assure you, it's perfectly legit. Ha! Huh. It is! Again, I say, ha! Huh. You didn't trade out with a nursing no, professor? No, of course I didn't. Spill. If you must know, I was hard up for some extra cash. You? You're kidding. I am only a tenured art professor, shyster. Oh yeah, right. Sorry, it slipped my mind there for a minute. Wait a minute. You don't mean to tell me- I was hired to teach this nursing course. You were not. I most certainly was. What do you take me for? Let me answer that. So, hold on. You were hired to teach this nursing class? You were hired? As an adjunct? Yes. Why is your face turning blue, Hampstead? I applied just like 4,000 other people did. You need to relax. You are not qualified to teach a nursing class at a university. 
Do I breathe air? It looks like it, yeah. Do I have a pulse? I think so. Do I not bleed? I don't know. Let me see. Now you need to just count to ten. You better make that a hundred. I hope those shoes you have on were made for running. Why? Oh! I am about to go Viking on your carcass, flywheel! Uh, anything I need to do while you're off running around campus? Uh, forget it. I'm going to end your life! Ah, someone save me! Hey, was that Hamper Dean? I think it was. Why is she running a foot race for that screaming man? Must be for some cause or something stupid like that. Go, Hampstead! I hope you win! Man, can she run fast for a girl. Yikes. What am I saying? I could get in deep trouble for saying, Sorry, Hampledore! <laughs> I meant to say, Man, can she run fast for a woman! Okay, so now for my cunning disguise. It's time for the old Prez to go in cargo nido as a secret shopper student to see what's really going on in the classrooms around here. No one will know it's me. Suh, dude, suh. I'm so lower 48. I'm brick, dude. I'm about to go to class and chomp my flavor and be lit and be goat. RT, dude, RT. I got this whole student thing down. Now let's go visit a few classes and see what's on the up high, er, down low. Eh, uh, something like that. I've seen dirty dish rags look better. Back at you, bro. I'm dying over here. Not in my office, you don't. They'd call it justifiable homicide. She's going to kill you. Yes, I saw. I was there. I hate to tell you, but I think she has a pretty good reason this time. Do you? What? Hate to tell me. Nope. Sorry. I fibbed. In fact, I love telling you. I am a legit adjunct in the nursing department. I applied in everything. How much stretching of the truth did you do on your resume? How dare you? As in, how dare you? How much? I said I knew CPR. Liar! I know, sue me. Someone is going to if this isn't fixed, and I mean in a hurry too. Hampstead is going to have your head on a silver platter. I thought she was going to have my guts for garters. Flywheel. Be serious. This is me being serious. Oh, please. There you are, coward. Ah, save me, shyster! I'm trying to have office hours here. You two need to take your fight somewhere else. So you can what? Work? Pull the other leg, Jane Austen. Ooh, an English reference. I like it. Shyster, I can't help it if she's seeking refuge here in your office. That's it. I'm seeking refuge, not asylum. Right here in your office. You're Switzerland, shyster. Oh, she's far from neutral, you pig. Pig? Or any other dirty, underhanded barnyard animal. I don't care. You two need to go somewhere else. I have things to do. Like what? Office hours for you, shyster, is code for you taking a nap. Hey, leave me out of this quarrel. I have things to work on. You and work in the same sentence? Something's up. I call foul, and not the bird kind either. Yeah. What are you up to, shyster? Wait a hot second, you Benedict Arnold, you. What? Take a gander, Hampstead. And while you're at it, take the goose, too. Get out of my way. Hey, this is my personal property. Ron, university property that we allow you to use while you're employed here. Shyster. What? I'm short of money, too. You cannot apply for our aeronautic engineering adjunct position here at the university. Watch me. If Flywheel can teach nursing, I can teach... Teach what you said. Good for you, shyster. We just need to tweak your resume just a wee bit. A wee bit? She's an English professor. Well, if aeronautic engineering has anything to do with blustery windiness, then shyster is your woman. Thank you, Flywheel. Hey! All right, this is an intervention. Step away from the computer. There will be no more tomfoolery from you two. Tom who? Are you seeing someone? Want to go running some more? Please, no. Then it's time to fix this mess you've made. And, Shyster, you send in your resume and our friendship is over. Ouch. I mean it. She means it. Yeah, thanks for ruining me financially. No more mess. 
fix now or kill you dead. She just ruined another promising career. Did you see her nostrils flare out? Uh, Dr. Tremaine, I have a question for you. Venezuela is in Africa, right? I mean, that's a pretty solid African name, isn't it? Venezuela. Isn't that where the Zulu live? Uh, Dr. Tremaine, you have an angry face on your face. Did you know that? Well, listen, while we're on the subject that we're on, why don't we just print more money to pay off our debts? You always hear about us being in debt in this country. Just print more cash, am I right? Again, you have an angry face. Dr. Tremaine, hey, one more thing. You said something about a quiz earlier. Is that gonna be graded or what? There you are, sir. I was wondering about you. What is it with our university? What do you mean? I have been kicked out of 17 classes today, hamster. Sir, I can assure you that I'm no animal. I ask perfectly good questions, and not one of these lousy teachers we have could answer me. How stupid is that? From whose point of view, sir? I dressed the part, acted like a perfectly normal student, and got kicked out anyway. I paid good money to take those classes. No, you didn't. Oh, right. I didn't. But if I did, it would have been good money. I have every right to be in those classrooms. No, you didn't, sir. I sure did. I'm the president, the head honcho around here, the GOAT. Uh, what? The greatest of all time! Uh, sir? I was scoping out to see what kind of teaching is going on around here. You should enroll as a legitimate student, sir. And spend all that money? Are you out of your ever-loving mind? You need to quit thinking with that sticky stuff between your toes, amply. Ooh. You said it. Do you even know what it costs to take a class here at our university? I sure do not. I'm the president around here. I have presidenting to do. I'll have you know. Here. Have a look. That's how much it costs to take a class at our university? Yes, sir. You should enroll in one. Oh, I'd have to take out a loan. Just like most of our students, sir. And be in debt for the next 20 years of my life? No way! It would make an interesting story, sir. You enrolling in one of our classes here on campus? I'm strapped for cash. Oh, please. I have a champagne lifestyle to keep up. I'd have to get a second job just to take a class around here. Okay, sir. Your humor is a bit old today. I need to go get some work done. You do that. Hmm. Maybe it's not such a bad idea for me to enroll. I'd still need the extra cashola. Let's see. Oh, I know how to make some extra money around here. believe you took me to this coffee shop, shyster. You must think I'm made of money. If you were, I'd spend you. Hardy har har. And anyway, I had to have my daily dose of lunar cash coffee. Seven bucks for a cup of caffeine? Yes, the most precious commodity on this earth. I'll take a large double espresso with their new lava rock coffee bean flavor. Your legs can walk. Not anymore they can't. Hampstead ran the tread off my shoes. Fine, but I'm adding this to your tab, which is about five grand, just so you know. Five? I refuse to pay interest. That's just the principle. There she is, the sledgehammer. I have been all over looking for you two. We're in mourning. Because I've stopped you from destroying our university system of education? Yeah, that. You are a grade A party pooper. And she means it. You guys cannot be adjunct professors as well as full-time professors at the same time. I was doing just fine. You have no idea how awesome my lecture on broken bones was going to be. I was going to use volunteers from the class and everything. We have pulses, don't we, Hampstead? I'm beginning to wonder. You're both bloodsuckers. I cannot believe your mouth formed those ugly words. Believe it, sister. I've got news for you, Hampstead. If you don't hire people like me and Shyster to cover some of those classes, You'll be hiring the guys who do the lawn, because that's all you'll have available to you. What she said. You two slobs are missing the point entirely. Enlighten us. Oh, sorry, I apologize. I use a word that administrators don't know the meaning of. Enlighten means to take... An adjunct is defined as something joined or added to another thing, but not essentially a part of it. You're joking. You just pulled that out of thin air. I looked it up on my phone before I got here because I knew I'd have to spell this out for you. She can spell flywheel. 
You could knock me over with a feather. I could, but I'm not going to. The floor's yours, Hampstead. Let me teach you a little math. My least favorite subject. Preach it, Rev. Why am I not surprised? Our university pays $2,100 for a three-credit class. Most of our adjuncts teach three classes each semester. Just FYI, that's a whopping $6,300 for a semester. I knew that when I signed on. I told you that I needed some extra dough. Just to pay back the loan she owes me for buying all her overpriced Lunar Cash coffees, cheeseburgers, and taco salads, and pizzas, and burritos. Okay, okay. So I needed the extra cash to pay you back. And I have to get an adjunct gig to pay myself back for the money I'm spending on Flywheel for the aforementioned Lunar Cash coffees, cheeseburgers, taco salads. Okay, I get it already, but we withhold taxes. You sure do, communists. No, you've got it wrong, Flywheel. They're fascists. It's Capitalism 101! I didn't take that class. Duh, isn't it obvious? And we withhold for Social Security. Which is an oxymoron. It is neither social nor secure. What she said. I don't know what she meant, but I like what she said. Adjuncts have to provide their own computers, have no office at the university, and when you figure in the hours teaching, grading, prepping for classes, they make about $1.75 an hour. You do better making shoes in a sweatshop in China. I hate math. No kidding. Down with math. It ruins all hope in the universe. So you gals would be idiots to be adjuncting for financial, educational, and sane reasons. I rest my case. The verdict, Your Honor? No being an adjunct for us. We'll find another way to finance the lifestyle we're accustomed to. Maybe we can broker deals for rich parents to buy their way into our university. Yes, I'll set up our offshore account, and then we can make a brochure with a breakdown of our fees. Do it, and I'll bury you six feet under. You need to lighten up and relax. Stay right here, and I'll get you an extra large hot lava java. Good morning, class. Welcome to Human Anatomy. And you may be asking yourself, what in the world is human anatomy? I'll tell you. First, there's human, which is you and me. That's what we are, just in case you're wondering. And anatomy means the study of anatomy. See, piece of cake. So, to get us all relaxed for today's lecture, what did the femur say to the patella? I need you! (laughs) Get it? Okay, you twisted my arm. One more. What did the cadaver say to the anatomy student? You stole my heart! (laughs) Oh, wow. How do I do it? That is funny no matter your choice of race, culture, gender, or age you identify with. Okay. Human anatomy. Pay attention, class. The toe bone's connected to the heel bone. The heel bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the ankle bone. Okay, now we're going to sing it together. (laughs) More blue right over here. As you wish, mein Führer. Hmm. Red. Any particular shade? Pink, salmon, coral, scarlet, imperial red, ruby, crimson, chili red, my personal fave, or fire brick. Red. See, this is why we would never hire you to be an adjunct in the art department. Oh, come on. Surprise me. Fine. Here you go. Chocolate Cosmos number nine. Ah, not on me, you dolt. So sorry, but it's not a work of art until you make yourself a part of it. Give me that. Thank you. I have no problem bathing in a pigment or two. Now let me pick another shade of the color wheel. I think you and the wheel need to have a breakup. I want to be prepared to adjunct if you guys in the art department ever need someone. Isn't going to happen. Me teaching nursing? No sweat. An English professor teaching art? Can't happen in this space-time continuum. This is me hating you. Covered in chocolate cosmos. We'll let it dry and name you as my next work of priceless art. Who's me off, you fiend? I just did. In chocolate cosmos. Flywheel! Have you two ever heard of a cell phone? Sure. They're portable devices in which to receive messages from rapid administrators. Meaning me. You guessed. Wait a minute. Is that talking lump of chocolate cosmos shyster? It is. I'm a work of art. Hampstead, you knew she was painted with chocolate cosmos. Sure, I did. You are going to make someone a good wife one day. Flywheel? Yes? Zip it. 
What are you upset about now, Hampstead? We're not adjuncting anywhere on this campus. We're planning and scheming about it, but we're not adjuncting. Not one iota. Have you two seen the university paper today? I refused to read it as they couldn't quote anybody word for word if it was written out in granite for them. And I don't read it because I don't like creative journalism, creative spelling, and the editorials are always complaining about the parking. I have better things to do. Look, right now. Ooh, a coupon for a cup of double frutte lunar cash coffee. It's mine. Saw it first. Would you two children stop that and look at this article? Oh, great. We have to read. She isn't quite as friendly as she was when she first came in. I am about to gut you like a fish. Read. Hmm. There's the score for the girls' soccer team. We have a girls' soccer team? Since when? Below that. Right here. President takes over human anatomy duties as new adjunct. What the what? What? That isn't fair. The president can be an adjunct, but we can't. Are you kidding me? Talk about being inequitable. I won't have it. I'm going back to the nursing department. He can't teach human anatomy. He isn't qualified. You may think that, and I may think that, but I guarantee the pres thinks he's fully qualified. Human anatomy? Does he even know what that means? Do you? Don't confuse the issue. We're talking about the president. He doesn't. No, he sure doesn't. Stop him. Hampstead, this is getting old, you know. The president does something insane. You come demanding we stop him. We stop him. We don't get any increase in salary or benefits. And the cycle repeats over and over. This is you wanting something and us empty-handed. Fine, you're right. If you get him out of the classroom, I'll have a full spread up at the cabana on the roof. You're on. No joking? No pulling of legs? No fibbing? I've got my debit card ready to go to the grocery store. Shyster, we have human anatomy class to disrupt. We ride. Wait. What now? I'm still covered in chocolate cosmos. And you were never lovelier. Hose me off and then we're off. (sighs) Okay, fine. Hampstead, get me the fire hose over there. Okay, students, here we are again to study the anatomy of the human. Pretty fun stuff, huh? It sure can be. So to start off the class, we have some pretty important jokes to share. What's the most musical bone of the body? The trombone! (laughs) That was the worst. No worse than your jokes. I assure you, I've never joked a day in my life. That was funny, students. Funny. All right, one more. Why did the student fail the cadaver test? Anyone? Anyone? Because she just couldn't cut it! (laughs) This has gone on long enough. You said it. Uh, sir? Sir? Say what? A question already? Shoot. Have I got an answer for you? Which access plays an important role in maintaining brain function? Uh, does this joke have a punchline? It's not a joke, sir. It's human anatomy. Axis? Axis, yeah. I'm not sure, but I can tell you one thing. Axis is ax does. <laughs> sir? Oh, sir. Uh, what now? Another question? Yes, sir. How many parts can be distinguished in the cerebellum? Well, that's simple. It's two. Cere meaning two and bellum meaning parts. Are you sure about that? Who's the teacher here? Of course I'm sure. How many joints are in a foot? Excuse me? There aren't any. That's not even legal in this state yet. Not for you hooligans lack of trying. I mean joint as in joint, not joint as in joint. I heard you the first time. Sir, who is considered the father of modern anatomy? Well, there isn't a father involved in any of this stuff. Which part of the body is oxytocin produced? How many organs are in the body? Is the nose an organ? Where does the right ventricle and the heart pump blood to? Where is bile made? Which compound in the blood carries oxygen around the body? Uh, class? I know this is going to upset you, but I just remembered that I have a very important board we need to go to. Later! Piece of cake. Class needs to be finished. We shouldn't waste the students' time. I got this. Nope, step aside. I got it. There she is. She kept her promise. I'm in shock. Wait, I'm fainting. Ow, you kicked me. Oh, my bad. Sorry. You'll both be happy to know that the president has given up being an adjunct. Yeah, yeah. 
Now it's time for you to pay up. That's right. What's on the grill? Salmon, asparagus, and some basted bamboo shoots. You just killed me. I'm dead. Where are the burgers? The dogs? The corn on the cob. We're going to start eating healthy. I hate healthy. I can't eat any of this stuff on the grill. My system will reject it. It's good for your human anatomy, Flywheel. Speaking of which... I've heard, and no, you're not ever going back to that class before you ask. You feed us healthy food and you kill our dreams, Hampstead. This was supposed to be a party. That must be the meaning of your name, Hampstead Dream Killer. Get a plate and shut up. Fine. Shyster? Yeah, sure, whatever. And as we eat together, we are also making a pact. Oh, here we go. Never again will you two try and be an adjunct for a subject you know nothing whatsoever about. You mean like half of the adjuncts that we have? Now, now. They have a pulse and a willingness to work for less than wages for food. Gotta love them. Now give me some of that fishy looking stuff on the grill, Hampstead. It's called salmon. It would be. You know, Shyster, we should co-teach a class on how to eat as college students. Yeah, cheap noodles, weenies on a stick, pasta. And we're completely qualified. Hampstead? Eat your fish, gals, or I'll shank you. No, shank you. Yes, shank you, Hampstead. Ladies? Yep, heard you. Loud and clear. So we bid farewell to Mid-South Central West University as the alma mater is hummed quietly in the halls and noses are buried in books. You have been listening to Academia Nuts, where learning is always just a tuition hike away. You have been listening to Neverwin Radio Theater's production of Academia Nuts, adjuncting in the cast as Shyster Caitlin Siegel, as Flywheel Molly Strickler, as Hampstead Elizabeth Albers, and as the president Isaac Tigula, script by Brett Jones. Never Win Radio Theater is a production of the Acting for Digital Arts program at Wichita State University.